Welcome to the FitLog Tour. If you haven't already, download the FitLog app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Create your FitLog account with the same email you use to create your account on the Adapt Now app. Now, if you haven't signed up for the Adapt Now app, go and download that first and create an account and then return here for the FitLog Tour. Now, the first thing you do when you log into the FitLog app is accept the trainer request sent from Adapted Physiques found here. Once you have confirmed that you have accepted this request, you will be sent a full in-depth questionnaire to help us with all the crucial information to help us better understand you and develop a strategy to help you reach your goals. This is where you'll find the questionnaire inside the FitLog mobile app. Submit your questionnaire, and then you can move on to filling out your food preferences. This is where you'll find your food preferences in the mobile app. Set your preferences for each food. If you like it, dislike it, or love it, you can update this at any time and your coach will be notified to ensure you're getting foods you like or love in your diet. Submit and save your changes. And remember, anytime you update it, your coach will be notified. Next, you will journal your current eating habits inside a food journal in the FitLog app. Your coach will send this to you so you can document three days of eating so that your coach can see a little deeper into your eating habits and the approximate calories you're consuming currently. Access this, you will click on diets in the FitLog mobile app or nutrition on the desktop version. There, you will be able to see the food journal that your coach sent to you. You will click the diet name food journal. It will bring you to this screen. There, you will find the log food button. Click on it. It'll bring you to this screen. You will click to create a meal, and then you can rename that meal. You can rename it breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack one, meal one, meal two, meal three, whatever it is in your day that best fits it. You will then journal any of the foods you're eating in that meal making sure to try and have the most accurate quantities listed or serving size. We know that food tracking might be a little bit of a new concept for some of you, but try your best to do this. And if you need any assistance, your coach can help you. Do your best to log the most accurate quantities. When you have finished adding all the foods to one of the meals, create a new meal and add the foods there. Repeat this as many times as you need in a day for as many times as you're consuming meals. Once you've added all the foods and serving sizes onto a meal, you can click and repeat this process with any meals that you have in a day. We do this to see how much food you're eating at once, what the calories are, so on and so forth. It just helps us better understand your current eating habits. Repeat this as needed for as many meals throughout the day, and then repeat the process for three days. So we have three days worth of food journals for you. The next thing you will do is check in for the first time. Now on your very first check-in, we allow for you to check in at any point in the day just to help get started. But we highly recommend even on your first check-in following our check-in guide. The video on how to check in properly is pinned in the pinned video section under the Adapted Physiques TV section in the Adapt Now app, which is found in the more menu. You'll need to watch this video for all your future check-ins. So it's highly recommended that after you complete watching this video to go watch that one and see how check-ins are properly done. And even your first check-in can be done properly. But at the end of the day, we can make things a little bit easier on you for your very first one, just to get you started as you're getting used to the new app and you can upload at any point in the day. To find the check-in section, go to the home screen of your fit log, click on check-ins. It's the same for the mobile app and the desktop version. Once you open the screen, the top right, there will be three little dots. Click there and click submit check-in. This will open a new check-in for you. You will answer a few questions about your previous week, input your weight, your starting measurements, which side note, these can be updated monthly and are not required for every single check-in. Then you'll move on to adding your current body fat. And again, this isn't mandatory for every single check-in, but it is highly encouraged. You can find your body fat manually with calipers or using an electronic Bluetooth scale. We have the calipers, and the Bluetooth scales available in the Adapt Now app if you don't have one already. In the shop section, you can find it under more. The next thing you'll do is submit your progress photos. You'll submit four pictures of your current physique and that's it. Then you just hit submit the check-in and we get notified and we'll be able to review it. If you don't complete the check-in fully or need to go back and update and edit it, you can click on that check-in and then make any updates and submit it again to ensure that all the details are accurate. If you have any issues submitting the check-in, make sure all the fields required are filled in. All the questions on the first page, the weight, and a minimum of four progress pictures is required so that the check-in will submit. These are mandatory fields. So if you're missing something and the app won't let you submit it, that's likely why. So go back and make sure all these fields are filled in and then submit the check-in. And remember, body measurements and body fat are both optional. They are not necessary for every single check-in, but we highly encourage doing it once a month 
so we can better track your progress. Congrats, you've made it this far and you've given us all the information we need. Now you will wait for your coach to review all your information and create a proposed strategy that will be shared with you. And then if you and your coach both agree that it is the best route, you will receive your new programming. When your new programming is sent, you will be sent at minimum a diet and training in the FitLog app. Now, if you go back to the home screen and click diets, the same place that your food journal was, you will find the diets that your coach has programmed for you. Make sure to read it in full. The guidelines, any notes in any of the meals, everything. Review the entirety of the programming and make sure you ask your coach if you have any questions so they can help clarify anything that you may be unsure of. After viewing this diet, of course, you follow it, but you can also continue to log your food inside the app just like you did with the food journal. But instead, this time, it's a little bit easier. When you click the diet that your coach sent to you and press log food, there will be a box next to each food and you can click each to confirm that you've consumed that food in that meal. Now, in the case that something may happen and you had to make a substitution in your diet, like switching chicken for turkey or whatever it may be, instead of selecting that you ate that food, you can add a food in the same fashion you did when logging your three-day diet journal. This keeps your coach in the loop if there are any deviations from your scheduled nutrition program. Again, this is not mandatory, but it is highly encouraged. Tracking your food each day and maintaining accurate notes and details for your coach. So come check-in day, your coach can review everything. So we can see if any Anything needs to be changed and bring our attention to any issues. So again, please be sure to review all of your nutrition programming to make sure you understand everything. And if there's anything that pops up that you might have an issue with, let your coach know and they'll clarify it with you. Next, let's move on to your training programming. Your training program will be found under workouts in the FitLog mobile app or under training on the web browser version. Here you'll be able to select on the programming your coach sent you. Again, click on it and review anything to see if you have any questions for your coach. But first, make sure you thoroughly read it and read all of the notes for all the exercises. Here, you'll be able to select your program. And again, for the first time, review it in full. So you can read any notes or indications your coach made about that training program. On the mobile app, you'll be able to click start workout on any of the exercises laid out for you in that program. You will be able to input the weight you used and the amount of reps performed for each set that is laid out for you in that program. There, it'll also show any details about that particular exercise, including the number of sets and reps that are recommended to be performed, the tempo, the rest time. It even shows you the tracking history so you can view what you did on previous weeks. Some exercise will also include a video tutorial. You will complete the logging and click to move to the next exercise. You will continue to do this until the workout is completed. At the end, it'll generate a report with information for you so you can review everything you did in that training session. And it'll also log and send it to your coach so they may review it as well. These are the main features that you will use in FitLog. Now we're gonna show you the rest of the app and its logging features so that you can provide your coach with all the information that may help them with any changes they decide to make or where you might need to collaborate between coach and client to discuss anything we might want to focus on more. Remember, communication between you and your coach is the absolute most important thing about a client to coach relationship. It is absolutely crucial to maintain good communication. And luckily, the FitLog app offers a chat feature. It can be found here. This is so that you can chat directly with your coach or participate in any group chats that you have been added to. Now, if we go back to the home screen, you will see a cardio section. Sometimes cardio guidelines will be found in this section. And it's also a place for you to log your cardio day to day. Majority of adaptive physiques programming will have your cardio guidelines attached to your diet and nutrition program to ensure it's easy to find and any changes week to week are addressed. For some clients that require more in-depth tracking, we may upload your cardio guidelines directly in the cardio section of the FitLog app but this will be communicated to you. But we also highly encourage you tracking your cardio independently in the FitLog app. You can do this by clicking cardio and then clicking the log cardio button. This will allow you to log cardio from scratch. It allows you to select the exercise method used, the type, the amount of time, how many minutes, and to add any notes like your average heart rate. And once you're done, you just hit complete. Let's go back to the homepage again. Next is protocols. And here you will find any supplement protocols. Often your protocols are sent again with your nutrition and diet, but for specific reasons, reasons like improving sleep, digestion, and so on, we might send you an independent supplement protocol in the protocol section. Again, you'll be notified if this happens. And your standard supplementation, again, will be found in your nutrition. And typically, it will be listed under the meal that is associated with taking those supplements or in the guidelines in the previous section before it starts listing off your diet. This is also where enhanced clients will find their enhancement protocols that you and your coach may have collaborated on as they assist you with risk management. 
with enhancements and health protocols. Now, if we go back to the home screen, we'll also find a supplement section. And at Adaptive Physiques, we rarely use this feature in the FitLog app. In the rare case that we do, it will be communicated to you directly from your coach, if anything has been assigned to you in that section. The majority of supplements we recommend are, again, in your diet or nutrition program. Always be ensure to review your nutrition programming for any guidelines surrounding supplementation. Now, there's a few other things we can do in app. You can click on your profile to add or change your display picture or any of your other basic information. Body stats allows you to see your previous progress pictures you've uploaded, your weights, body fat, or body measurements that you've already submitted. The notes section lets you add any notes or view any of the notes that your coach has added to your profile. And then there is the forms and documents section where you can review any forms like your questionnaire or other documents that your coach has sent to you in app. For even more tracking and logging, which is 100% encouraged, but not mandatory for all clients. You can track your water intake, sleep, steps, glucose, and menstrual cycle for female clients. This may also come in handy when you're submitting your check-in, so you can go back and review any of your logs from the previous week and make sure you're adding all the information required in your check-in week to week. All this other logging can be done here. Please note that these features for tracking are only available on the FitLog mobile app for client profiles. If you selected a trainer account, you will only be able to see these on the desktop version at this time. That concludes our FitLog tour. This guide can be found again and may even be updated at a later date. It can be found in the pinned video section under Adaptive Physiques TV in the Adapt Now app. Hope this helps you acquaint yourself with FitLog. And if you have any other questions, be sure to reach out to your coach to help clarify them. I'll see you guys on the next video.